Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 81 and 82. Problem number 81, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. We are told that Ben can walk 15 kilometers in B hours. He can walk 15 kilometers in B hours. B for Ben. How many minutes will it take to walk X kilometers? How many minutes will it take to walk him X kilometers? The very first thing we should notice, as we always do, is to make sure that the units are not mixed up. And here they are. They're telling us this, they're telling us this speed in hours, but the question is asking us how many minutes. So we have to keep that in mind as we go through the problem. Okay? Let's get going. So what do we know? We know that he can walk. We know that he can walk. He walks. 15 kilometers in B hours. That is something we know. It is given to us. What, what can we deduce from it? What can we infer from it? What can we surmise from it? What can we get out of it? Well, what we get out of it is the fact that if he walks 15 kilometers in B hours, that implies that he can walk, he can walk 1 kilometer in 15th of the amount of time. Because if 15 kilometers take that many hours, one kilometer should take 15th of that amount of time. But he doesn't want to walk one kilometer, he wants to walk, he wants to walk x kilometers. So if one kilometer takes this many hours, two kilometers will take twice as much time, three kilometers will take three times the amount of time, b uh, x kilometers that he wants to walk will take x times this time, x times this amount of time. So that in turn implies that he can walk x kilometers in b over 15 times x hours. But we're not interested in hours. The question is how many minutes will it take? So that's very straightforward. That's very simple. Just to, at the very end, take your units that are hours and convert them into minutes. We know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So if you were to multiply this amount by 60, if you were to multiply this amount by 60, there you go. Now we have that in minutes. All we have to do at this point is to simplify our answer because the answer choice that is, going to, that is going to be given to us in any of this exam here it's not going to be in this form, it's going to be in the simplified form. So let's simplify it. We see 15 on the bottom, we see 60 on the top. If we divide top and bottom by 15, 60 becomes 4 and we end up with 4 times B times X minutes. Our final answer is it will take 4 times B times X minutes. That's all there is. That's all there is. How do we know whether or not our answer is correct? As always, we plug in numbers for the variables, convert the problem into an arithmetic problem, solve it arithmetically, get the answer and see if this thing gives us the same answer. So let's, let's plug in numbers. We know he walks 15 kilometers in B hours. How many hours do you want him to take to walk 15 kilometers? Let's, let's, make, let's, let's, let's make him walk in three hours. Okay, listen carefully. So if he's going to walk 15 kilometers in 3 hours, that tells us that he walks 5 kilometers, 5 kilometers per hour. How long do you want him to walk? Just make him walk 2 kilometers. Keep it simple. So if he wants to walk 2 kilometers at 5 kilometers an hour, 2 kilometers will take him 2 hours. 2 hours. Which is same as 120 minutes. This is our answer. So if we plug in these values for the variable here, and if you can wait 120, then that answer is correct. 4 times b, which is 3, times x, which is 2, and we do not get, we do not get 120. Something has gone wrong. Did I make a mistake? 15 kilometers in b hours, 1 kilometer will take b over 15 hours, x kilometer will take x times as much, multiplied by 60, and we get 4 times b times x. That is correct. So I must have made a mistake here. 15 kilometers in 3 hours, he walks 5 kilometers per hour. Ah, he walks 5 kilometers in per hour. That is wrong. You see, this is something has gone wrong, obviously. So let's make it, he's walking 5 kilometers per hour. Obviously, it's not going to take him 2 hours to walk 2 kilometers. That was silly. That was stupid of me. Let's, let's make him walk 20 kilometers. So 5 kilometers per hour, 20 kilometers, 20 kilometers will take him, 20 kilometers will take him, will take, four hours which is four hours which is 240 minutes let's see if 
Let's see if it confirms now. So we're looking for 240. 4 times B, which is 3, times X, which is 20. And this is 12. And 12 times 20. 12 times 20. 12 times 10 is 120. And therefore 12 times 20 is 240. You see? The fact that you're watching this thing, this, 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 these, these mistakes, these boo-boos that I make, the fact that you're actually watching them, that tells you that people do make mistakes. That people do make mistakes, and everybody does. And you just have to be able to catch a mistake. Making mistakes is one thing, but you have to be able to catch it right away. You be able to, you have to be able to know. You, you have to be able to realize. You have to have a mechanism to figure out if something has gone wrong. So when my answer did not match, there are only two possibilities. One possibility is that I either make a mis I either made a mistake in the problem solving, and this answer was wrong, or I made a mistake here as I was solving it arithmetically. So we made a mistake there. So one more time. We're pretending that he's walking 15 kilometers in three hours. That translates into five kilometers per hour. Let's, let's, let's make him walk 20 kilometers. 20 kilometers should take, 20 kilometers should take four hours. And four hours translates into 240 minutes. Does that give us 240? Two, four times B, which is three. Four times three is 12. 12 times 20 is 120. That tells us that this answer is in fact correct. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's go to number 82. When things don't work out, there's no need to sit there and cry to find out what happened. That's all it is. A biker, a biker we are told, travels k kilometers in h hour. Not k kilometers per hour, but k kilometer it travels in h hours. Question is, what is his speed? What is his speed? In meters per second. You will see that this is actually a very straightforward question. We are done with all of this thing. Let's get rid of it. Again, we start out with something that we know. And something that we know is the fact that he travels k kilometers in h hours. If you were to write k kilometers in h hours here, k kilometers in h hour, what you will end up here is the hour on this side of the, this side of the blackboard. When we are solving a word problem, always try to keep your unknown thing that you are trying to solve for on the right hand side as opposed to solving an equation where you keep your unknown on the left hand side. Here this is not going to work because what we're looking for is speed. Speed is going to be climate, the speed is going to be some meters per second, that some distance over the time. It's better to have this thing on that side. So let's 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 transpose this thing. K kilometers in H hour, which implies that it takes takes H hours for it takes H hours for K kilometers. That's it, we're done. All we have to do now is it's a two-step process. That's all it is, actually one step process. All we have to do now is to convert these hours into into minutes, because that's what it, or per second rather, into into seconds, and these kilometers into meters, and we're done. So how many seconds in an hour? An hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds. 60 times 60 is 3600. So each hour, each hour translates into this this implies that he must take 3600 times h seconds for k kilometers. k kilometers is same as 1000 times k meters because there are 1000 meters in an hour. That's it, we are done. So if he takes this many seconds for this many meters, he must take one second for this amount divided by this amount. And that's all there is. That's all, that's all there is. That implies that he must take one second for 1000 K over 3600 H meters in one second. This is redundant actually, it's just one second for this many meters. One second for this many meters. If it's one second for this many meters, we just found his speed. This is how many meters he travels per second. 
we just have to reduce it. We can't leave it like this. So re let's reduce this thing. 1000 divided by 3600, we need to reduce it. Let's divide top and bottom by 100. Divide top and by 100, the, the two zeros go away. Divide top and bottom by 2 and 10 becomes 5 and 36 is going to become 18. So the final answer, the final answer what we get is 5 over 18 or rather 5k over 18 h meters per second. That's our answer. 5k over 18 h meters per second. The very last thing we need to do here is to confirm that our answer is correct. Is to verify our answer as always we do by plugging in numbers. So again let's decide how fast do you want him to go. You decide. It's up to you. I'm going to make him go 6 kilometers in 2 hours. Why 6 kilometers in 2 hours? I don't know. Well, why the hell not? 6 kilometers in 2 hours, his speed turns out to be 3 kilometers per hour. Let's find out what that translates into. So he's, if he's going to go, if he's going to go 3 kilometers in 1 hour, that means he takes 3600 seconds for 3 kilometers. Because that's what it is. 6 kilometers in 2 hours, that's the same as 3 kilometers in 1 hour, 3 kilometers in 1 hour, which means he, he travels 1000 meters into 3600 seconds. 3600 seconds for not 1000 meters, rather 3000 meters because 6 kilometers every 2 hours which means 3 kilometers every 1 hour which means every 1 hour he goes 3 kilometers. Let's, let's divide this thing. If it takes this many seconds for this many kilometers he must take 1 second he must take 1 second for 3000 kilometers which is 3000 meters for 3600 seconds. Let's spell it out. Let's simplify this thing. We want to make sure that the answer we get here is the same answer we're going to get here. Let's simplify this thing. Divide top and bottom by 100, it goes away. Let's divide top and bottom by 6, and we end up with 5 over 6. So it's 5 over 6 meters per second. 5 sixths of a meter. That's how his fast is going. He's covering about 5 sixths of a meter, not about, he's covering 5 sixths of a meter every second. Is that what we get here? Let's find out. 5 over 18 times k, which was, we plugged in 6 here, over h, which we plugged in 2 here, and what, let's see what happens. We better get 5 over 6. We better get 5 over 6. We already have a 5. We already have a 5. Let's see what happens. I see, I see 2 over here. I see 6 over there. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. That becomes 3. We see 3 over there, we see 18 over there, let's divide top and bottom by 3. The 3 goes away and 18 becomes 6 and we end up with 5 over 6. Just like, just like, we, had, just like we had said we should get. We should have gotten and we did get it. He is going at the speed of 5 sixths of a meter per second if he, if he is indeed taking 2 hours to go 6 kilometers. Bye now.